that is thank you if you're new please subscribe oh please Begging over, let's start the video. So today's video is going to be all about the brows. The brows. Because I have recently had them freshly tattooed by the lovely eyebrow junkie. I've been to her three times now. The first time I got hair strokes. The next time I went, Kay was wanting to try something new because I'm just a guinea pig really, aren't I? Um, so yeah, she wanted to try out ombre brows, which ombre, obviously everyone knows ombre, but I think the way she wanted to do it was start off light at the top and then go darker towards the bottom, so at least you still had that very precise shape underneath where it was a bit faded at the top, um, but I wanted to go the other way, so she started light here and then darker towards there. And they, I got them done about a year ago, and they've lasted a year, and I still didn't need a top up now. I could have probably went another year, and the, you would still see them. And the amount of, what's it called? What's it called? Compliments. The amount of compliments that I had with me brows was unreal. Like, just not wear makeup like I could do that I could just rock in go to work with no brows on but you'd still have brows go to the gym, no makeup on still have brows go to the pool on holiday still have brows it's the best thing really and but I've got a code for you 50 pound off when you quote <laughs> So that's GTWL50, um, and that's on until the 30th of November, so £50, £50, I mean, £2 mint. So, yeah, go and quote that. She's based in the North East, um, but I know a lot of people do travel to see her because she is the best in the business. I wouldn't go to anyone else. You can see the full process of where we sit down and talk all about them. Um, so I discuss what kind of shape I want, if I want to alter the shape. I actually wanted to lengthen them this way a bit and make them a tiny bit thicker. You can see I've certainly got a bit more defined, like they are defined down to a T. I couldn't get them more defined or else I'd look stupid. I mean, some people might think that they look stupid now, but they are. I did only get them done on Friday, so they've still a bit fresh so the go I think is 80% 80% darker when the um when they're just being done so it's not the full effect yet but I will be um taking photos every day from now and see how they heal because it's a bit controversial of how they heal and but I want to make you guys totally aware of what's going to happen um so I'll insert a clip now of the whole process going to get them done um, so you can see exactly how I'm going to get my eyebrows done today. I'm going to go and get them tattooed by Eyebrow Junkie. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. So let's go.
she does work in her house and um, she's got her own little cute little room of where you can go and get them done um, she's very professional but she has got a sense of humour which puts you at ease so I just want to talk through the experience obviously I've had them done before it was a little bit different to how they've been done because this time um, she actually explained why I wasn't going to get numb um which I was like oh god they're gonna hurt um but she said why which was be to get a more precise brow so she said with the numbing cream they can shrink or they can um swell which if you're then tattooing over the swelling it's gonna shrink when they go down or the opposite way if they shrink with the numbing cream and then expand so they're going to be either be either way they're going to be smaller or bigger which you don't want that you want a very precise brow the sun's going down that's nice thank you pal the numbing cream isn't put on straight away she draws the outline first it's not it's not bad i mean it gets a bit like towards the end but then once she's drawn the outline she'll then numb you up and it's like oh my god that feels so much better you can see in the video like I wasn't in pain at all um it's just a bit like Rrr. I don't know what Rrr means but you know like when you get a bit restless like oh I just want this over now hi guys it's me <laughs> but you didn't think you'd see me in this setup but Oh, I do apologise, but I've had a nightmare. I've, I'm editing this video and there's a lot of footage that is missing because of stupid memory cards that I've decided to wipe. I mean, who does that? Um, so I've just got to quickly show you this no makeup free, um, wet hair in a hotel room in, Lon in London. I wish I was in London, Liverpool. Um, but it's just about the aftercare because it is really important and I know Kay bangs on about her loads because it's just really important. Um, so she gives you a special ointment put on a certain amount of times during the day for the first couple of days. Um, just swap hands, it's already hurting. Um, so you need to follow that, literally like follow that 100% because the aftercare is what makes your brows like she can do them for you but she, she can't look after them for you it's you um so you need to really follow that um what else and also be aware this is what i mean by i need to make you aware of what happens because the scabs come off i mean any scab comes off um but you might just wake up and the scabs are all over your face. That will, that happened to me this morning. Um, and as you can see, like, mine are healed. I think I've still got a couple of scabs left on. Like, you can see, yeah, you can see one there. And, like, the big one there. But from far away, you can't really tell. So it's all right, really. Like it doesn't bother us because it's just like shiny brows. I like shiny face, so why not have shiny brows? Don't scratch. Don't wear makeup. Don't get them wet. Don't go to the gym or exercise because that makes you sweat and it'll make the scabs come off more. Because it literally, if you pick the scab off, you're picking the pigmentation out of your skin. Um which defeats the point of getting a tattoo. Oh, I couldn't do a vlog, this really hurts. <laughs> yeah, just be aware because the scabs will come off, and might come off in bulk, and don't be tempted to scratch because they will be very itchy, like you'll just wanna go, ooh. Um, just to try and like scratch it, and I did wake up the other morning and I was like, I need to scratch, and you just got the urge during the night but you need to remember not to do it because it'll it could ruin your brows but yeah sorry about this setup it's not a me natural ring light and it's only my second youtube video but 
hey guys the same night you want me to vlog so you best get used to this no makeup face in hotel rooms thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you like the video and leave me any comments down below because i will try and answer them all and yeah don't forget to subscribe thanks